सो फ्रॉम टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग वन मोर सीरीज ऑन कैबिन नॉइस रिडक्शन विच इज़ एक्चुअली अ मोर ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन डीजल्स लेस इन पेट्रोल्स बट ये वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वन ऑफ द इंजन फर्स्ट एंड चेक अ साउंड लेवल डायरेक्टली अबव द गेयर लेवल फॉर टेन सेकेंड एंड टेक अ मेन ऑफ दैट वैल्यू टोटल वैल्यू and then we are going to do some things and just to give a crux if we go deep dive into the concept what actually noise is uh if i have to sum it up in very few words then it can be noise is a side effect of vibrations so the major source of vibration inside our in our car is actually the engine so the very first point from where we have to reduce vibration is going to be engine and next i'm going to do a noise level check so what we are going to do today is we are going to uh, remove the engine mount located just right here and uh, lubricate it it will help in the cabin noise reduction and what we want to do first is support the engine from the bottom uh, so that when we remove the engine mount the engine doesn't fall off for supporting the engine we need to find a good spot and as we can see that this plastic shield is in the way so we need to remove it with the help of t25 screws one two and third over there so we'll firstly remove this so the first thing we need to do is uh, we actually need to remove this coolant reservoir tank so before removing this thing there are two things attached to the coolant reservoir we need to remove first is this uh, pipe coupler you just have to pull it up and it will release second is this uh, coolant low warning sensor just like we have a clip on top which presses there is also one more clip at the bottom we have to press both of them together and pull the coupler backwards to remove now now with the help of t25 you can remove the coolant bottle there are two t25 screws one on this side and one on this side here after removing the screw you just have to grab the bottle reservoir tank from both ends and pull it straight upwards because it has a kind of this clip which goes inside this portion engine mount has 8 bolts in total you can observe the four 1 2 and same is two on the other hand three and four four on the body three on the engine and plus one bolt over another which is which acts as like a chassis to engine ground so uh this is 12 16 16 16 14 13 13 and 14 so we'll remove all of these removing the body to chassis ground now we have 316 mm bolts mm, my 
advice is to loosen them very slowly let the weight of the engine transfer from mount to the support as you will lose the bolts you will feel the resistance as the weight of the engine will get transferred from the bolts to the support so try to loosen the bolts evenly that will make your work much easier afterwards all three of them are loose uh, that means the weight has transferred completely to the support this is a different kind of bolt as we have one more uh, stud on the top for the ground now we have to completely remove the bolts from the body uh, where the engine mount is connected so that we can pull the engine mount out of the engine and our engine mount is completely out now this is our engine mount as you can see that it has kind of extended legs on both the sides uh, which connects to the metallic frame outside and what does it do it supports the basic hydraulic a chamber in the front so that it doesn't wiggle too much so basically support but the support also acts as a agent to transfer the vibrations of the engine to the outer metallic bracket which then get transferred to the engine body and inside the cabin so these two support sides needs to be lubricated pretty well so that they can slip and slide on the metal and doesn't transfer that noise or the vibrations to the engine so what we need to do is we need to uh, pull open this tab from here and just like that we have two more on this side and we'll open the mount structure completely So these are the three components of our engine mount uh, engine side with a hydraulic chamber to cancel out the noises a base plate and a support structure as you can see you have a witness mark here which is actually a grease but the rest of and if you can see we also have witness marks where it gets connected to the structural plate and it's all dry whereas it's need it needs to be lubricated properly and the story is same on this side as well pretty dry we need to lubricate these spots so that the hydraulic chamber can take up all the vibrations and these sides which are supposed to just support the hydraulic chamber can slip and slide properly without transferring uh, the vibrations to the bracket 
and as you can also see the results of vibration inside the retaining bracket on both sides I guess that's enough to say how much does it vibrate so the grease is quite essential and what we are using is I guess proper it's a high temperature grease I guess that's the right application for the temperature so going straight on to work some of you people may think that the best grease for this thing is a silicon because I am applying grease on a rubber surface but I don't think because silicon may not be able to withstand the temperatures uh, produced in a engine compartment and this component is directly connected to your car so the heat is quite a lot and the heat transfer is not through air it's direct to metal to metal contact so greased both sides of the bracket now next is to grease both sides of the engine side of the mount so i've already applied applied a little bit of grease here the next is on this side and now we need to put it back all together the way it was and yes the grease is gonna attract some dust and that's quite normal we really can't do anything until unless we have a dry grease which is graphite base now one very very important thing i have threaded all the four uh, bolts down i have just threaded not tightened it because we have to realign the engine mount and yes this engine mounts need to be realigned or aligned once we removed it or we replace it uh, can you see this hole this hole needs to be perfectly aligned with a hole inside the chassis of the vehicle or the body of the vehicle which is directly underneath it if i try to move the mount you can see now it's out of alignment and if i try to move it in front now it is in alignment it's not only one hole there are actually two one is here so you need to align both of these down correctly before tightening the bolts so i'm just gonna align the mount and tighten down the bolts now the engine mount is in the place uh, you need to put back the coolant reservoir back in its position and tighten it down and don't forget this coupler electrical one so everything done next thing is to lift the jack up remove the support and put the car back on its tires back again
so time for a test again done a lubrication for the engine mount uh, try to reduce as, as much as vibrations as we can but only the test will tell the true results so the same test again let me open the app on my cell phone and same spot we are gonna reset it for 15 seconds And the average is 66.2 I guess that's a reduction of to 153 decibels I don't even examine the last test so this is one of the ways you can reduce the cabin noise and we'll have more two or three I guess more videos on this series so catch you up later